I would like the school the classroom of 2025 to have an access, a type of access to video and audiovisual and still and every other form of, uh, of image, to every clip, every piece of newsreel, every single resource that ever existed that could help you to become better at what you do, more interested in your subject. I think I see the classroom of 2025 as being rather like the best classrooms are now. So they are very social places, and we have to remember that, that that's how human beings learn. It's with each other and from each other. But you need to put the children and the pupils in a, in a much more direct position to be directing their own learning. What I hope it would be like is um, a lot of use of computers and just general um, the teacher being more um, interactive with the students. In 2025 I think uh, going to school will not just be about um, the teacher telling you what to do but hopefully that you can work on your own projects more. The classroom of 2025 Wow, I'm thinking about what the classroom of 2014 looks like. Um, but again, you know, from iTech, the things that we're seeing, the flipped learning, the students as producers, the learning outside, learning in teams, the collaborating communities, all of those will, will be there in the future and they won't be innovative because they'll be mainstream. I mean, imagine with the classes more interactive, so with at least a computer for every ogni due compagni di classe, per gli assenti anche le lezioni in video chat per, per non far perdere molte lezioni. The current um, modeling of classrooms will disappear. I think it will be something that is much more interactive, where teachers become really our mentors and coaches. Che sia importante che il docente alterni momenti di, diciamo, di tutoraggio, quindi soltanto di dare un feedback, ma non di, di intervenire in maniera... I think we'll be talking about learning spaces and learning areas and the classroom will be also in the cloud. So we will be talking about something that is, yes there will be schooling, but there will also be a wider classroom virtually that children can join, they can work with experts, they can collaborate with others. We're beginning to see that in some of the work within iTech. So it won't be a place where the students are sitting listening and watching. It'll be the place where the students are doing things, orchestrated by the teacher, the teacher supporting, children learning from other children, classrooms learning from other classrooms, teachers learning from other teachers. So you've got a much more dynamic social aspect to the learning.